Welcome back to Stoneblock. And, um, yeah, a return to the smeltery, along with some other things. There's an unpleasant little presence in our base, however. Hello. Um, yes. Our zombie pigment came back with us from the nether, and we need to get rid of that guy soon enough, which means I'm probably going to want to craft a weapon of some sort. I mean, I can just hit him with a, an axe or, a, you know, a pick, but uh, that wouldn't be... Wouldn't be nice, at least be useful to get a, a decent weapon. Anyway, uh, I did upgrade the pickaxe with a cobalt head, so I'll just put some cobalt in here. I've got various other metals in here, some electrum and stuff like that. But put some cobalt in. I made some casts, and you just make the stone version. So make a stone version using a part builder, etc. And put that in here, pour some aluminium brass or gold onto it and get the casts. Casts I've made for the various different bits and pieces. And this episode, we're probably going to make some. I'm not going to cover too much about it, other than to say, yeah, it is there. And we are going to get to it. So um, that's fine. And uh, we should get started, I think. First of all, let's get some more quest rewards done. Because I've got a few more of those. Uh, I guess I can actually... I keep getting extra cobblestone that I don't need. I've crafted a trash can. There, That just needs some stone and a chest and some... Uh, bits and pieces and that just let me get rid of stuff that we don't really need uh, occupying our chests I went through replaced the um, the meshes here with flint meshes for a uh, one sorting uh, one sort of sifting session and put dirt through there and that gives us a whole bunch of seeds and you'll see them in here sugarcane seeds and beetroot seeds and melon and pumpkins etc so I put a tiny tiny little farm here um, there's really not much to, <laughs> there's not much to it. We get some string, uh, we get some potatoes. Uh, the the water to keep this all wet, by the way, is just underneath that block though. You can just about see it. And um, we we'll get some beetroot as well. Um, we'll show you why I need beetroot in a second. But uh, yeah, so I've I've started off the farm. There is also yeah back here, behind this wall. I don't know whether they actually need darkness or not, but just in case they do, I've put these ender daisies from the Nether that I found. Uh, they produce ender fragments, so I'm just going to put those back there. And in the case they need darkness, at least they're in darkness. So every time you harvest those, you get more of the daisies. So we'll make a larger farm there once that's going. You only want it to be one hide. I don't want anything to spawn back there, just in case if I get too far away. Uh, I did also find the infinite water. Uh, it's called a sink. You can see it right there. It's not very hard to make. Um, and aside from our infinite water pool, this just supplies infinite water. So we need clay to make terracotta, just a clay block in, in your furnace. And that makes just makes a sink with the regular stuff there. And uh, that will then just continually resupply this with water. And then that will again get fed in from that chest from dust to make clay. So anytime you make clay, you just have to right click and it makes more. So yeah, pretty happy there. All right, um, let me just put a few bits and pieces away. Um, Let's get our metals. You can see I'm building quite a, an excess of iron. And as I keep building it up, I keep on smelting it. But uh, sooner or later, we're going to have to put them into a draw system. Just not yet, I don't think. And you are really annoying noise. Um, hmm. First of all, I want to get some other things that are useful for tinkers. So we can already make manulin. That's just one-to-one -one ardite and cobalt. Excuse me, I need to cough for a second. Yep, so one-to-one -one cobalt ardite will make us manulin. That's useful for swords, but not so much for tools. Stop it. <laughs> not so much for tools. Uh, but we need some other bits and pieces for various different uh, parts that we want to build. One of them, for instance, would be paper. And paper I don't have. So if we have a look at paper, if you'll see how we make it, well, we make it sugarcane, as you normally expect. So I could put a sugarcane farm, but not as much of a fan. Uh... However, I am a fan of these these bonsai pots, <laughs> and they're amazing. I, li I like the fact that it just grows something like that. So there's a paper bark sapling that we can get that will give us um, oak wood, uh, oak leaves, and sticks just like normal, but will also drop paper, uh, obviously from the bark. To get that, however, we just need to use any sapling with some paper, so it's sort of self-defeating a little bit, except that we can also trade one emerald, which I've got lots of, for paper bark in a market. The market, we need just some wood, but then some red wool. Now, white wool is easy, that's just string. Red, however, we need to get from rose red, and I don't have any tulips or rose bushes or anything. However, you can just make it from beetroot. Haha! -ha! 
Now you know why I need beetroot, or at least why I have beetroot. So if we just make that, make this, we have white wool, we can turn that into red wool, and then we have everything we need for a market. Uh, I think there's a, I can't remember if it's this market, or there's, there's two markets, this one is any color of wool, presumably. Uh, Pam's Harvest Craft, and this one, I think this is the one you, you exchange stuff, maybe they both are, maybe we'll try both of them. Um, but planks and wood for that, I think. So planks is straightforward. I've already got some in my inventory, in fact. And let's get a few pieces of wood, just five. And get that bucket back. Craft this. There we go. Still not sure why it's inserting weird stuff into that other than that. So, um, yeah, if you know, let me know. And let's put it in here. Let's just put it... Uh, here. Um. <laughs> Love that effect. Okay, so we can now trade for any of the things in here and we can search for them as well. So if we search for saplings, uh, can we actually get any slime saplings from this? I don't think we can. No. Oh, so it's such a shame. But you can trade for various other things that you can get out of here. So. Uh, I, what was it, paper bark? Uh, oops, paper bark. There we go. So it needs one emerald. Fine, we've got emeralds. We can get that there from here. Over a stack of them, in fact. So, yeah, maybe we should look for other things that we can trade here. Um, paper bark again. Paper. Fine. So we've got one of those. Uh, what else can we actually get out of this we don't have? Well, we're going to get to Pam's Harvest Craft. That's where we've got all the various crops. Um, cotton seeds, fine. So, various different woods. And we can, of course, grow all of them with the bonsais. So, that's no problem. Uh, is there anything in here that we really actually want? Hmm. Actually, some of the bushes are sometimes useful, but... Uh, we don't need them just yet. And um, we can get bone meal, but we've already got bone meal. So yeah, nothing excessive that, um, that I need in here. We can obviously see different seeds, etc. Because we're already getting those from our, um, from sifting. We can just sift dirt for that. But we get paper bark sapling, which means I should probably make another bonsai pot. And let's just take a look at the re uh, research. <laughs> bonsai pot, the, uh, the recipe for that. Just bricks and dirt and a hopper. Bricks are straightforward. Um, I'm just going to grab, where did I put that? Clay. There we go. I'm just going to make all of that into regular clay and put it into our furnace. Which is going to do that pretty fast. Ugh, I'm getting sick of that noise. Um, we just need five. And do I have any more drawers, draw units, the four-way ones? I think I put most of them over here. We can just grab this one back, because I'm not using it at the moment. There we go. And we can just put it here next to this one. There we go. Fine. Bonsai pot. Uh, needs some dirt. I've got some on me. And we can make... Well, let's just make three. And uh, we need metal, and we need a chest or two. If we want to make hopping pots, let's just make the hoppers. Two of them. And we'll make two of these as well. I'm only going to use one to start off with. Uh, we need to put dirt in it. And the sapling. And off it goes. So that should start making paper. <laughs> there it goes. That's so cool. And we'll see what it actually drops, but it should get, give us, you know, an infinite supply of paper, essentially. All right, so I will probably put more bonsai pots. I'll put, move them over here or something like that, maybe along this line. I don't think we need that market anymore. So if I just get rid of you, whoop, yep, you're going to disappear as well. And we'll just put the wall back for now. Great. Let's, oh, well, ah. Well, I guess we're getting more cobblestone. Uh, still making oak wood, which same as this one. So that's okay. All right, let's get those quest rewards sorted out and uh, put some of this stuff away. I'm not going to eat you or you. There we go. 
that should be enough room for our quest rewards, but uh, we've got one each of the, the bonsai pots. Ender fragments, by the way, from those ender daisies, uh, put them wherever you like, but uh, we will get nine of them, and that should then give us a whole ender pearl, and that should open up other options for us in future. All right, quest rewards. So, oh, I'll throw my thing away. Uh, here it is. So if we have a look on here, all these generators will all give us a quest reward. So let's grab all of those. And in the start of stone block, I've pretty much picked up the one for the nether. I've not opened it yet. I want to open them all on camera. Wither skulls and end stone is next. However, I think we've already got end stone because we can convert glowstone into it. Yeah, that should give us end stone, hopefully. The reward. There it is. And uh, that will then lead us into making end rods, I guess. End stone, obsidian, evil tear. We've got to get that from somewhere. And uh, artificial end portal. <laughs> we need to Google it on how to build it. Fine. So we can build a portal to the end. Not that I need the end just now, but, uh, you know, we can always get to that later. With the skulls is the next thing in the nether. That's going to need um, probably best to make a cleaver with, um, with tinkers. And uh, we'll get to that. And uh, there's more stuff here. So we can just grab you and grab infer Inferium Essence. Claim you as well. And there's more to get you get that will let us automate all kinds of different ingots. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we get for rewards. Number one, more of those photov photovoltaic cells. Uh, where did I put them? I think I put them up here. There we go. Uh, we get Epic Bacon. Epic Bacon is great to actually nom on, but uh, yeah, a limited supply. Upgrade speed magical. Okay. Uh, you can go in there. Uh, we get Flask of Fleet Feet. Another Invar Hammer. We're going to be making a hammer anyway, so we don't necessarily need that for much longer. Um, so let's just put that away. And Loot Chest. Mana Steel, always worthwhile. We can make, uh, uh, oh, we've got another Diamond Furnace. I've already just made one, and it's just given us one like that. Uh, I guess I can just put another one alongside it or something like that, but uh, I don't actually need it at the moment, so that can go away. Mana Steel, however, um, is there a decent armor that doesn't degrade? It's Mana Steel armor. And it is just Mana Steel ingots. Uh, less mana cost. Uh, and it's not... Well, it's got a durability on it for one. Yeah. Not that's a okay. That's a jetpack attachment plate and a jetpack. Yeah, we're not there yet. So I'll just put this away for now. I'm not going to need it. And let's go on and just look at uh, well, that epic bacon as well. Oh, oh, as well. I've got more than enough with this cooked apple uh, stack to actually satisfy us. Okay, so on to weapons then. Um, we can make a various different types. I don't think I made a cleaver, so I'm going to make an extra pattern or two. Uh, we want a large sword babe pattern anyway, and I think, is that it for the cleaver? Let's just look, take a look at the part, uh, not the part builder, the tool forge. Cleaver, cleaver, cleaver. Where are you? There you are. So it needs a large sword blade, large plate, which I've already made, Two tough tool, tool rods if we want to get beheading sort of a sword. Uh, we don't need it just yet, so uh, why don't we have a look at the katana? I've not tried this yet, and I would like to try the laser gun at some point, but I don't think I have any means of charging it effectively. Uh, I guess we could put it in the magmatic generator if it takes RF. Um, that's speed upgrades. And it's actually dropped now. It's run out of power, so we could think about speed upgrade. Uh, actually... And it's that speed upgrade that we just got as a quest reward, wherever I put it. Uh, magical. Okay, but it's power penalty. Hmm, will that actually have an effect on this? It is extra utilities, of course. Uh, grid is overloaded. We don't have any grid yet, which needs the mills. So, mill... Uh, yeah, so we have a lava mill that gives us, you know, 4 GP each, water mill. Uh, well, I did cover these in SevTech, I think it was SevTech. Um, and water's sort of okay, uh, probably the best option, but it just has the running water sound. Like I guess I'd have, I'd have to put a, um, uh, 
a muffler nearby. But let's just try the lava one because we've got essentially infinite lava. What do we need for that? We need an ender shard. That's going to need an ender pearl. That's slightly annoying. We can save crushed endstone, but these are such low chances to drop. I'd need a lot of endstone, and I don't have a lot yet. You have to get it from glowstone and sifting that. So, uh, sorry, converting that through lava. So, yeah, I don't have that just yet. Uh, and that's occasionally you get it from redstone. No, so not just yet. Looks like uh, I need to wait for that upgrade then till later. So for now, I'll just put it back. All right. Um, paper. Have we got any paper yet? We do have some paper. We've only got two, but that, that will get us started. And we want to make a binding of paper at some point anyway, so I may as well make one now. Um, is it going to be a straightforward binding or is it going to be a tough binding? Let me just take a look at what the options are. Where is this katana? Uh, that one is a tough binding. So why don't we just try that with paper to start off with? And is that enough? No, it needs some more paper. Fine, I'll do that. Wait for that off camera and then we'll come back for making the katana. And yes, I was impatient. So I set up more of these going over here and we should have more than enough now to actually make our paper binding. So let's just get over here. Our zombie pigman decides to have left, I think. I think he's gone back through the portal which is fine by me. I don't have the, the issue anymore with the, the noises. So we've got paper binding. Uh, we're going to want manulin. So I'll put some in here. Yep, so we're eight ingots of manulin. So let's put those to the bottom and let's pour that into a casting table. That's going to deplete all the manulin. Yeah, just for one sword blade. <laughs> we're going to need two. I'm going to go and get some more materials. Um, we, for them eight, for that manual in, we're going to need eight and eight of Ardite. They combine to make eight of manual in. You don't get 16, unfortunately. And it's still going to take a while to cool. That's nearly done. Uh, for the handle, I'm just going to use wood, I think. Um, we can deal with that later. Let's pop that in here. Uh, let's put that in here for now. So let's just make the handle while we're at it. That should be straightforward. Um, is it a tough one or is it a regular? Tough tool rod. Tough. So, um, there it is. We don't want a paper version. Let's grab some wood. There we are. Ecological. So, I think that's the one that uh, basically self-repairs. And we're going to be adding quartz to this anyway, so you are going to get need to get some quartz. I've only got a little bit. So I'll just use one up to put the modifier on it and we'll add for the modifiers later. Uh, we don't need too much about that. We just need, ooh, manulin is just alloying now between these two. It used to be instant, but it's not anymore. At least maybe a bit dipping on temperature, not sure. But uh, in either case, it's not going to take very long. There we go. And we'll pour the second blade. Then we should be able to assemble our sword and put a uh, quartz on it. Um, is there anything else we want on it? Uh, probably not for the moment. Uh, we'll... We'll put some more on later, maybe. For the tools, uh, for the hammer, I'm going to want paper again. So having paper is useful because we want a paper large plate, I think. So why don't we make one of those? And uh, this will just let me repair this with... Oh, wow. Okay, I remember. It needs a lot. Material cost eight and we've got two. So we need four times that amount. Yep. Thankfully, I have the, <laughs> those, uh, those things growing. So let's just grab these bits bits and make ourselves a katana so uh two there one there one there and uh 2.5 attack speed eight attack damage and of course it's got three modifiers we've got the paper binding which should give it writable okay i'm not bothering naming it but we've got a katana now that we can use to defend ourselves or more importantly attack anything that comes through that portal uh, i may have uh, i think one of the the people I saw playing this actually put it underground, the portal, and that, that's uh, pretty useful by, you know, by way of a trapdoor or something like that. But for the moment, uh, aluminium brass, that's actually just short of a block. Yeah, that is at the bottom. That should, yeah, that should fill the block out. And are we just waiting for paper again now? Yeah, I think we are. Let's see, let's see if we get any more. Um, there we go. 11 more we we'll need a little bit more than that so i will cut again and we'll finish off uh, our hammer 
Well, you know I needed some kind of target for uh, for our pigmen, and uh, why not? <laughs> and the rest of them are not going to be happy at me doing this, but uh, uh, 50%. Okay, fair enough. That will do. <laughs> the rest of them are not happy. <laughs> uh, we did get solidified experience, though, and a gold nugget. I'm hoping to get, actually, some loot bags. So let's just see if they come here. Yeah, come on. I know, I know you're around here. No, you're not happy. There we go. Uh, let's take in more effort. I think we're going to need a ranged weapon at some point as well. Okay, and again, vacuum hoppers, but we need the ender pearls for the vacuum hoppers. Are any more of them out there? Any more of them unhappy with me? Let's just knock a block through. Or a few. Give ourselves a bit of a view. No, not for the moment. Okay. Time keep exploring. I'm going to need some more Ardite for our Hammerhead. And I may as well pick up some more Cobalt while I'm at it as well, because we don't have quite enough for that yet. It took quite a lot to make this particular sword, so we're going to need more supplies. Okay, here we go. I've gone and got the Ardite. I'll go put some Ardite into this smelter anyway, and we'll just pour a Hammerhead with it. I'm going to go and get some more paper. Hopefully we've got some more paper now. Um, let's just grab some of that. Uh, let's just leave one in each, just so it doesn't mess up the ordering. I'm going to need even more paper than that, but that's fine. We'll just see how close we are. Yeah, not far away now. Is that finished? No, it's still cooling. How much have we got left? We've got eight ingots of Ardite left in there, so if we want a manulin plate, I should probably put uh, four cobalt ore in there as well. That should oil alloy together. Because this is going to double, I think. So we should end up with another set of manulin stuff. And uh, let's just take that back out. Uh, we don't want the hammerhead. We want the large plate cast, however. And we've got the other plate there. And then for the hammer, I'm just going to put a wood. Again, just a wood um, handle on it, I think. I'm not going to actually worry about it too much. So just the tough tool rod again. Made out of wood, which I don't have any on me. It won't take long. Um, yeah, let's grab some oak wood there. And then we can just swap this out. Uh, where's the tough tool rod? Grab some. There we go. We can replace it later. I mean, we could use stone or something like that. We'll get stone bound. Um, yeah, I'll swap it out later if we need to. That's not really much of a problem. There's our hammerhead. There's our tool rod. We just then need the manulin, which is going to be ready very, very shortly, and paper. Okay, so our first hammer is now made. We've got hammer one. It obviously will make better versions later if we need, we need them, but there is the drill from actually editions. Uh, I was looking for a ring of flight, so we're not there yet. Um, yes, so hammer one, what have we got on here? So as I was saying earlier, we've got a manulin large plate, a paper large plate, an alodite hammer head, and then just a wooden handle. I put some redstone on here, just, a, you know, 50 redstone on uh, in the tool forge when you put it here, and you get haste, so it is faster. And I used an obsidian kit to uh, increase the mining level. Um, do we actually even need that? Yeah, I put it on anyway. It's not important. It's just a starting hammer. We'll complete the rest later. I've just been uh, doing a bit of uh, mining with it. It's actually pretty and pretty okay for a starting hammer. Um, so yeah, you can see the idea here, and uh, that's pretty fine. Yeah, uh, the speed is okay from that. Certainly a lot better than what I was doing with the pickaxe. And depending upon the Invar hammers from uh, drops, eh, not really dependable from the quest rewards. So we've got something we can craft rooms with now. Uh, we certainly don't need to do manual mining, but uh, that's okay otherwise. And uh, we'll do that obviously between the episodes. Fine. So where do we go from here? Uh, we go from here, I'm probably going to need to go into the nether and do some exploration because we're going to need to go and head find some wither skeleton skulls. That's going to need probably need me to craft a cleaver, but a beheading cleaver needs ender pearls, and that's one of the reasons why I'm not kind of enthusiastically heading that way just yet because I'm still farming these. However, they are getting uh, we are getting more of them, so that should speed up our sort of farming. We haven't got anything to. Um, automatically farm these yet of course but uh i only need the first few ender pearls to actually sort that out 
and there's some recipes. So I've got seven ender fragments. I will uh, keep on using them, but it is a three by three just to get an ender pearl. And of course, from an ender pearl, we can make eyes of ender. Not so useful. Um, magical snow globe. Interesting. Uh, not crafted one of those before. Anyway, ender pearls uh, will then be using for all kinds of different recipes, as you might imagine. They use them pretty much everything. Um, is there anything of particular note? Really just that beheading to start off with, but also things like the ender pouch, so I can store things here in the base. And the chest, they need blaze rods. Blaze rods, we've got blaze powder, but we're not going to compress a compactor to make them out of the blaze powder yet. That comes from sieving. I think it comes from sieving. Yeah, we can sieve dust to get blaze powder. So we are going to want those for sort of just tools in general as we go forwards. What else do we need? Um, ender pearls for probably various teleporters, all kinds of different things from those uh, points of view. Ooh, math transmitter, RF tools. So we can get dimensions created with those, I guess. Anything else that I want to point out? No, I think pretty much that's fine from there. The other thing I also want to get started with is being able to create slime. Now, I'm not in a slime chunk, as far as I know, but we have rice seeds. I'm assuming that these can be planted and will grow okay. Where's my... Ah, here it is. <laughs> if these will grow, looks like they will. Um... Yeah, I'll keep an eye on them. If they will, then we can make rice slime balls. And this is sort of a chain that you can create to get through to slime blocks. So let's take a look at a slime block. It's actually used for a bunch of different things. But a slime block can be made from all kinds of different slime balls, including rice slime balls from rice dough that we can make using rice. Okay, so that and water gets us a rice slime ball, which gets us a slime block. Uh, we can make it with mushroom milk as well. I have to go and get a cow from somewhere. Uh, and mushrooms, in fact. Um, sieves, we get mushrooms from sponges, but I can't make sponges yet. No, they need slime blocks. That's a bit circular. So there will be other ways of getting it anyway. So not going to need mushrooms just yet, but we can make it through rice, I think. And I'll do that in between the episodes, just pile up some rice and get that going. The reason why we want that is that we can make that back into slime balls, uh, silver so backup, and uh, that has then other recipes. So one of the things we can do with, uh, it's not the slime block, is it? No, it's definitely the slime balls. So we can recraft them back into a slime block. That's not so useful at all, but we can then combine it with other things. So we can make magma cream with it, with blaze powder that we already have. We can make slime boots. I think they stop full damage, make you bounce, uh, if I remember rightly. A slime sling, that's a suicidal way to get around the nether. Um, but also we can get to congealed green, green slime blocks, which will then uh, let us get into other things, uh, including green slimy mud, which we can then, I think we can just smelt that up into green slime crystal. Yeah, and that's one of the things for Tinker's Construct. There are three different types of crystal. Let's just look at them. Uh, where are they? Uh, let's just, they all call slime crystal. Yeah, let's just look for slime crystal. So slime crystals, you need all three types, plus some gold, and then you can start adding modifiers, uh, extra modifiers, extra traits, sorry, onto different weapons. So it's the sort of advanced version of Tinker's Construct. But to get to those, you need to go through slime, among other things. So the green slime crystal we used to get from the green slimy mud, blue from blue slimy mud, magma slime from... Slimy magma wood. This needs magma cream, so as you've seen, we can already get to that point. Uh, we need to get other slime balls and other sort of stuff going. Uh, if we can get to saplings, then we can get them grown by saplings, but I don't see any way of actually making those saplings unless we can trade for them. I don't see any trades, so it's only in loot bags that we can get the saplings. That's unfortunate. It means we've got to go and do other things to get those. But again, just to get some slime going, I'm going to get some seeds going. We're not going to need all that much beetroot, so let's just get rid of the beetroot now. There we go. And let's just put down the rice seeds. Yeah, they are growing, so that's just fine. Don't need potato either. And uh, for now, I don't need flax seeds. So let's just make that all rice and uh, see how well it does. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done there. So I've got some better tools. 
a decent sword. This has just quartz on it, so 72 quartz crystal from the nether, and attach that on the uh, on the tool forge, and you get a much sharper weapon. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with those. I'm sure you can, however, suggest new ones, and that's where the comments below come into play, because with Tinker, Tinker's Construct 2, there's no real absolute best in something, but these are just starting weapons, and we can do better than these at least. Um, I think I may get to range weapons in the next episode. I may leave it for an episode or two because I don't want to do Tinker's Construct a lot uh, while you guys want me to do and get on with the actual quests. But I think we'll probably cry, try and create some shurikens or a crossbow uh, in a couple of episodes or so. I'm going to need to go and hunt for a stronghold in the nether. Uh, we need to build an end portal and maybe get into auto sieving through RF. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this between the episodes because you've already seen me do this. I'm going to make another magmatic and then I'm going to link the magmatic generators with um, essentially cable, um, the, the equivalent of cable, and get them powered by lava, creating enough RF so that we can have this producing um, not just gravel, but then taking the gravel and sifting it. So we get continual resources, presumably without these. Um, but we'll see. So I'll craft some more of that between the episodes and we'll review at the start of next episode, see how that goes. So I hope you've enjoyed this one. I know it's been a sort of crafty weapon kind of episode. Uh, we have been to the nether once briefly, but uh, from that point onwards now, I think we need to get into more technology and then go and find that stronghold in the nether. Hopefully you join me for that. Feel free to like, subscribe and share if you'd like this episode. And of course, I'll see you next time for some more stone block. As always, guys, thanks for watching.